Daniels give some pretty decent hints. Listen to the awesome music in the meantime. that came with it. Sometimes they come with the uh, maps and other stuff. Digital manual. Mega Drive version came with a hint book. Can't be right. Japanese version came with a map. I'm not going to use the handbook though. This site never works. Uh... Come on. Phone hates opening up some of these manuals sometimes. Apparently. <laughs> I used to have a copy that will open up on my phone. something somewhere. It's surprisingly hard to find a uh, Manual for Phoenix Star 2. Oh well, we're gonna yellow it. Okay. Awesome 16 bit graphics, it looks so much better than the Sega Master System version. So, a new game, and 
start the timer. <clears throat> Oops, did I... That was not the new game. Alright. Bam. <clears throat> I'm haunted by nightmares every night. Look at those graphics. Young girl is battling a giant demon. I'm close by. Do not move or speak. All I can do is watch while the demon keeps striking at the girl. Just as she is fighting for her life, I wake in my room, dimly lit by early dawn. I guess the girl must have been uh, Alice from the last game. The demon must have been the final boss. I am filled with incredible sadness and fear. I am Lan, an agent here in Paseo, capital of Mota. It's the same town. I shake my head as if to scatter the remnants of the dream. I have no time to worry like a child about nightmares in this modern age, especially with the mother brain. <laughs> Alright, playing Metroid now? Planning and controlling all aspects of the environment. So, assuming this is in the future of the uh, first game. Open my window and take a deep breath of fresh air. It seems to wash away the bad feelings left by my dream. And now we're back to the same graphics as the last game. Just slightly nicer. Good morning, Lan. How are you? Almost two years have passed since you started working for me, Commander of Moda. Yes. He goes around calling himself, hey, I am the Commander of Moda. I don't know, it's... Just explain it for us, but still, it's weird. What I am going to ask you will be the toughest job you will ever have done, but it is vital for the future of Moda. As you know, Algo has, brought up, has been brought up by Mother Brain. My work as commander has been smoothly promote the plans of Mother Brain. I believe that Mother Brain never makes mistakes, but those monsters all over with Moda are too much. Let's find out our, by ourselves why those monsters were born and how to bring them under control. Our mission is to go to the Biosystems Lab and get Recorder. If we look into the data, we can figure out how the Biosystems Lab ended up making those monsters. I hope from the bottom of my heart that you have come back safely with the reporter. We'll see each other again. Better get my pad of paper here, because it's probably going to be a lot of... Anything like last game, the villages are going to be full of hints and... Gotta do this, gotta do that, and where to put my pen? Give me one minute, go grab a pen. Nay seemed worried. Hello. <laughs> oh, forgot to wear some clothes, anyways. Nay, I have to leave for a while. They stared stare at me for a moment. I remember when we first met. She looked at me just in the same way. It was seven months ago. She was the product of a mixture of human cells and those of bio monster. She was not cast from society. You are still small when we first met. Now you can take care of yourself. I'm going on a dangerous journey. Too dangerous for you. I worry about you like you were my sister. Still, Nay stood in the doorway to keep me from leaving. Please, Lan, take me with you. Do anything for you. Anything. I took my sack and started to go. <laughs> what sack was he taking? But Nay was still, still blocked away. I had no choice. I decided to let her come with me. You know, without without context, that sounds extremely crude. Spells. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a manual so I knew what the hell res is. <laughs> assuming some sort of some sort of healing spell. So TP is tech points. String. Strength. Storing. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
definitely your status, anyways. Foy. I do kind of remember Foy is isn't that like kind of a fire spell of some kind? Not sure if that's the same as number three. Let me see if I can find at least a text version of this manual here. Because we get to get to know what the hell these uh, spells are. Let's go to us. Let's see star four. Never mind. I think I did find one link that had kind of a text version of it. Fancy Star 3. Oh, there we go. Demo. That's the clue book. So I can find man I can find stuff in the hint book, but finding the manual seems to be really hard. I don't want to use the clue book. Even though it was included with the game. somewhere. There it is, okay. <laughs> it's a perfect adventure, training the architecture. Technique. What the techniques are. Uh, there we go. Techniques. Okay, here we go. So, Foy. Compress oxygen in the air until it ignites. Okay, so Foy is a flame spell. Uh, res is heals. So, I figured. Okay, so Res and Foy. Jobs apparently. Equipment. Excuse me. Yeah, it's gonna be. So through this manual more fully later on. Well, as long as they have a general idea. Just scooping off every day. He says he can live without working. I got close to the bridge on the North River. Many people have been killed there by a man named Durham. Okay. So, we have a Durham. Bridge to the North. Something you'd like to know, but more you should go to the library at the central tower. Library central tower. Yeah, it definitely looks like the old game, but definitely different in terms of you know you can actually walk on the grass and the other characters move. This town is peaceful. I'm glad to move here from Arima. 
doesn't rain at all for a while, the lake even dried up. Go to all these buildings? No. These buildings are really small. Here's the ghost guy. They really are strong and so dependable. Let's just go on these ones. So in this game, Heal and Cure are different, because I remember in the last game, Heal and Cure were just two different levels of, uh, of the, the healing spell. Ugh. At first I didn't realize I could cure my guys, I, thought, I figured that would just be like poison. Just end up being a stronger version of Heal. Still working in the Biosystems Lab, which is on the other side of the lake. Okay. Biosystems. Like... I'm writing down everything. It's this area. What the hell is that thing? Clone Labs. Would you like to have turned to you? Okay, so this is like a resurrection. Well, at least they made resurrection a little more sensible. Considering last game it was just you were going to a church to resurrect somebody, which makes no sense in the. Uh, this kind of universe, right? It's like this futuristic universe, like uh, you go to church to resurrect somebody. So I don't know if that was uh, due to localization or if the original game had churches as well, but cloning labs make a lot more sense. Welcome to the teleport station. Just 16 set as you can teleport to any time you want. Let's go. Nice. So we have a, uh, it'll be a quick travel system, which is always good. Why should I work for a living? Because you can buy games with your work. Oh well, you're armed and look brave. If you don't keep your weapons in good shape, they're worth nothing. Um, do we have, like, weapons that have durability? That sucks. Hope not. So it's just like kind of a general rule of thumb or something. And the data memory. It's kind of like the uh, it's the healing area, I guess, or the healing, the uh, saving area. Start. Star. Good enough. Please get your body cloned to the clone lab. <sighs> so used to a two button system, now it's a four button system, so it throws me off. Say if you go to the North Bridge, a guy named Durham will rob you of your money. Central Tower. This is not a bit working. That's where we start from. Alright, so I guess you can have enough characters that uh, you can build a party. So last game you only had the, th the four characters and that was it. This one you can definitely have more. Yeah, close to the bridge north. Guys already. This is the place where you buy shields, armor, a gear, carbon suit, carbon vest. I guess certain people can wear suits and certain people can wear vests. Fiber coat, carbon shield, carbon ML. What the hell's an ML? Alright, manual. 
shields, emeralds, and your other body protection. So fiber shields of some kind. Fiber glass, fiber, fiber glass construction. Shield. Can we shield your emerald? Demo looks like it's kind of like a, a bracer almost. Carbon shield, fiber coat. It's probably an upgraded version of the carbon vest of some kind. Headgear. So many different pieces of armor. Crazy. Now I've got carbon suit and shoes and a knife. Carbon vest, ribbon. Okay, so you can wear a, a, a hat, right and left. Legs, okay. So, so you can wear a weapon and a shield. I'm assuming certain characters can use shields and certain ones can use the emeralds. If you try buying it, does it tell you who can use it, or you have to guess? So it really suck if you have to guess. Okay, good. It does say you can't use it. At least there's that, but it'd be nice if it just gave you a list of most of the newer RPGs. They kind of uh, show you, you know, stats before and after, and which characters can use it. That was a nice addition in later RPGs, but the early ones don't have that. I'm gonna be a thief. A great job to have as, as a grown-up. Right, so maybe, maybe you should go back home. When you get a strange town, there may be someone strange who's looking, who's looking for you. Okay, so... Strange town... There's little tiny things like that. Pretty important. It means I do have to return home at some point. It's probably somebody special there. Uh, what's he sell here? Okay. Hey. <laughs> some other weird stuff. This telepipe, escape pipe, antidotes. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, medicine. Oops, not got my clothes. Medicine. Oh. Come on. Okay, monomate, diamate, and trimate. Okay, so it's just uh, so monomate heals, diamate double the heal, and trimate to find that it's triple the heal, I'm guessing. Antidote uh, heals poison, that's pretty self explanatory. Ocarina pipes. Escape pipe is escape from a maze, so I guess it gets you out of a dungeon. The pipe uh, turns you to a city. Cool. So escape pipe is to get out of uh, get out of dodge, if you will. Don't need anything right now, but it's good to know what they are. So I guess you can buy guns in this game. It's a dagger, scalpel, steel bar, low gun, sonic gun. This means I can't use it. Alright, so I can use a knife, but I can't use a dagger. Makes no sense. Whatever. Alright. 
confusing. I don't know which character to use what. Alright, let's go inside and get something. This one should be armed and fight. I agree. Let's go fight some slimes. Mosquito and a fire ant. Okay, I guess since uh, Nay doesn't have any weapons, she's not attacking, so I gotta get her a weapon. I figured she'd just be able to hit them or something. Definitely need to get her a weapon. Whatever she can use. We can reload, so maybe we reload. So we have to restart. Just want to see what you can actually use. Steel bar, at least. Alright, so let's reset here. Is the reset button on this. Reload so we don't lose our money we accidentally used. <laughs> Let's go get that steel pipe. <laughs> Assuming the guns are, I wonder if they're the same as the last game where they're, uh, they attack multiple enemies. Might be the manual actually. Check that. One second. Weapons. Uh, bow gun. Hands. Doesn't mention, but I know the last game they hit multiple enemies, so I'm assuming it's gonna be the same here. That's probably why they're so expensive. I wonder if you can dual wield in this game. 
I'll try it with the uh Let's try it. It's not gonna cost me a hundred. Can do a will. Now, whether it lets you attack twice, we're gonna find that out very shortly. So, you can either get a shield for defensive or extra weapon for offensive, I guess. Let him attack twice. It's nice. Some really big ass mosquitoes, I noticed. Hooray! How they'd randomly attack, just like last game. Just kill the same thing until it's dead. Didn't notice if there's a place to heal up. Maybe if you return home, you heal up. Place to heal up. Hospital, I guess. Just the cost. Sixteen. That sucks. So it's not like the first game where you you get a free spot to heal up at the beginning. You have to spend money. Kills all your characters, not like last game where you had to like pay for each one separately. And... A B. Oh, 
like it's an auto fight system at least. <laughs> yet. She's level up twice. Crazy. It's monsters for you. Oops. Not mean to go in there. Which money do we have? I need... I'll try to get in that first gun, assuming one of us can use it. One thing that's a downgrade though from last game, last game you can save anywhere. This one you can only seem to save at the uh, those spots in the city, which is kind of an unfortunate thing. Mind you, that was a little bit exploitable in the last game. Because you could easily just fight in the middle of a dungeon, or uh, save in the middle of a dungeon, and reload as many times as you want, so. Well. There that is, that's not good. characters, you have to go through the whole menu each time. Music gets totally funky there after a while. Let's get him to cast the spell. One enemy. Twenty seven to eight. Twenty three to go.
This they're leveling up pretty quick. If I can use that gun too. Oh, if I can't use it, at least I'll use the money for uh, armor or something. Realize when they attack you, they heal themselves. Makes sense, I guess. Suck their butt. with those poisoners in. Seems to be pretty good for money. can use that gun. <laughs> well, it's probably like the armor I could probably check before. I guess. We sell our stuff. Sell it here. Buy another uh, pole or metal rod there. Or knee.
one level. Or really, one point each. That's <laughs> just... sucks. Love when you like you, you pay to rest in an inn, and you find out you're literally one fight away from leveling up and getting more health and magic. Really? Why can't I just keep the same name? Hey. Okay. Change the name each time, that's annoying as well. Let's try out this gun. I said, let's try out this gun. Thank you. damage that enemy. It can't be right. There's no way the gun only shoots when an enemy does. What was the point of it? It's like five damage. What the hell? Five damage. And it hits one enemy. That is that can't be right. Are you kidding me? I sold my two uh knives for a weapon that does five damage. Uh, it's probably like the like the previous game where the, it never misses and it's always like a specific amount of damage, but at least the last game it hit every monster. In this game it doesn't. What kind of BS is that? As you can see that was 500 or 300 gold to get that. Five damage all the time. Like, why the hell did I spend 300 gold for that thing? Feels so ripped off now.
I'm gonna go sell that gun. Seems to be cool crap. That sucks. That's a lesson for me. Don't buy a gun. place. So why are you here? Uh, the scandals of the building insurer. Okay. Sure the scandal was talking about, but it's the uh, Darium, Darium, whatever his name is. That old guy over there. By the knives here, I've got to go back to the uh, other town. But I was going back to the other town, but found this town instead. Scrumpto stole all the food, killed all the men, kidnapped all the women. Those who left here are just powerless. Only waiting to die. Oops. Recruiting this Darum guy. Okay, let's see this town. Got 
gotcha. So I gotta find Kain Tame. Which is probably gonna let him join me. Yeah. And she's probably the scoundrels uh, down or whatever. Alright, so we got fun scoundrels, they apparently have two sticks of dynamite, we got a locked container. Darren's daughter was kidnapped by them. He's probably a good guy who's gonna join us once we save his daughter. Some more knives, get rid of this crappy ass bowgun. Lost 150, but it's learning experience. Technically, I lost more than that because I sold the two knives I had, which was worth 200 for 100. And I bought that and lost that, so I lost uh, 250 gold in, in the end. Now I know, guns suck. So let's go north first and find Daryl. Is this the first we're talking about? Probably. So that face tried to kill me seven months ago. This is bad news. Let's go back for a while. Yep. So we probably have to save his daughter and then will join us. Oh, 
we got our preemptive attack, those bastards. of it. Those things look tougher. Or, or not tougher. Really big insects in this uh, this game. on the field, so... Da, 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 da. Transports you to the city where your travel information is stored. Right, so it just brings you to the last save point, I guess. Which is handy.
So we go this way. New enemy. Black scrolling fancy. It's truly 16 bit. Stop missing.
a treasure chest, but I can't reach them yet. blood stuff out of their back, that really hurts. back home, I think. Because I'm going to die really soon. I haven't healed, or I haven't uh, saved in a while. <laughs> I'll get to at least one treasure chest. There's one. Forty Masetta, yay! Totally worth it. Why can't they ever concentrate on one enemy? Taking that pad. New enemy. Come back later on. Oh crap. That's what I was hoping wouldn't happen. I can't use any of a dungeon. Shoot. Let's hope we can make it back uh, without dying here. Should have tested that. since my last save. Ah, that was my fault. Shouldn't have gone too deep in that dungeon without testing that. Alright, well, I'm gonna call it here for the night. I'm getting pretty tired, so it doesn't really help when you're playing tired. Alright. Let's pause the timer. Okay, so... Skip the crappy tennis game. Went on to a much better game, but... Definitely, definitely a little more difficult to start off with, so I have to do a little bit of grinding to get enough levels. Grab myself some armor before I keep before I go any further. So, 
but we're gonna do that uh, <coughs> do that tomorrow so thanks everybody for watching and have a great night <laughs>